Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is get camera location and rotation. This example is pretty simple. When I run it, we are seeing the location of my camera and the rotation of the camera. And if I was to move, you'll see the location and the rotation change. And now this is something to keep in mind. The camera's location and rotation are changing even though my player is not. So let's go ahead and look at this and understand why. First thing we need to look at is the node itself. So we have basically two nodes, get camera location and get camera rotation. Now the important part here is their target is the player camera manager. It's not going to be the player, it's going to be the camera manager. Why this is important is the player camera manager basically manages the active camera. So you may have more than one camera on your player, for example, or in your scene, but the active one that your player is using is the one that we're going to get the location and rotation of. Now we get the camera manager just by getting our player's controller and getting the player manager from, camera manager from that. And then we use the get camera location and rotation, which is simple enough. We just do get camera and we have location and rotation. Now, the reason why when I do this, it's changing is keep in mind it's from the location and rotation of the camera. And if we look at my character, that camera is actually on a spring arm off of the player itself. So that's something to keep in mind. Rather than casting to the character, finding an active camera, finding the location and rotation of the camera, we use these nodes to simply get the active one from the player camera manager, and then we can get the current location and rotation. That's basically all it does and all it's for. It's useful if maybe you need to fire off a line trace from where the camera is rather than where the player is. Maybe you're in third person like this and you want a virtual cursor to be in front here rather than in front of the player forward. So let's say we were in here. If we did a line trace from here forward, but our camera was up here, it might have a little bit of difficulty connecting with things. So if we fire line traces from where the camera's at, rather than where the player's at, it allows us, the player, to feel like, oh, I'm looking in this direction, like I'm looking down from my camera, my player's looking down. It gives us a better feeling of connection with the camera itself and where a player might be looking, rather than where the model itself is forward direction. So that's going to wrap up our two notes. It gives us from the player camera manager, the location and rotation of that camera.